a woven basket, a set of seashells, pieces of unfired clay that look like discarded starts for sculptures, handmade bowls, some made by the artist, some collected by the artist, filled with pigment or covered in painstakingly detailed marks, panels painted with obscure diagrammatic symbols, a real pizza crust and pastries since treated by curators to prevent them from deteriorating. All of these objects laid out on a long, wide, flat table that is more like an extended museum plinth. If you go to an old city in Europe, you're likely to find that it has a lapidarium. This is a building that houses pieces from archaeological digs, fragments of broken sculpture, discarded statues and monuments, all the stuff, the bits and pieces that are left over that haven't yet found a place in the catalogued collections of a culture. They are usually exhibited haphazardly, like the Prague Lapidarium, where in the space of a few feet you can find a piece from a Romanesque church and a huge monument to some now forgotten 19th century heroes. Working tables is Gabriela Rothko's Lapidarium, with a major difference that instead of this being the sideshow, it's the main event. Rothko isn't saying, here are the leftovers from my main work. He is saying, this is the main work. <laughs>